So then currently we're putting all of our SAS code in this single file here and that's okay for now whilst we don't have that much code in here but if we carry on this way it's going to get very long and very messy pretty quickly. So instead with SAS we can use what's known as partials which is basically a way to split our code up into multiple different files. So for example we could have a file for variables and a file for a CSS reset, a file for buttons, links and colors, etc. And then we could just bring all of those partial files together into one single root SAS file. So using partials like this keeps our code modular, easier to maintain and easier to read. So let's give this a go and split up our code that we have already into different partials. First up, I'm going to make a new file called variables.scss and we're going to place all of the variables inside this file that we made earlier. So let's go to the index file and grab all of the variables that we created and then let's go and paste them in the new variables file. And then finally we need to save both of these SAS files. Now currently there's going to be an error because we're trying to use those variables in the index SAS file but because we moved them to another file now it can't read them. In order to use them inside this file, we have to import that file. So to do that, at the top of this file, we can say at import, this is how we import another file, and then a relative path to whatever file we want to import. Now we want to import the variable SAS file, so we can just say variables. And we don't need to add on the SCSS extension. The SAS compiler is clever enough to figure that out for itself. So if we save it now, everything is going to work the same way as before. But now it's easier to maintain our code and it's going to be easier to read as well since it's split up into logical files. And if we take a look at the output CSS file, we can see that it's exactly the same as before. Now there is one issue with this. A lot of the time in whatever task runner is compiling the SAS, you're going to see something like this. I'm just going to replace wherever we say index is the file name that we want to compile or watch with an asterisk instead. Now the asterisk means look for any file name with this extension and compile it. So sometimes developers do this because they might want several style sheets for different pages in a website. So therefore they could have several different SAS files that need compiling. So now our build task is going to potentially build multiple SAS files into CSS files. And our watch task is also watching multiple SAS files. So let me cancel out of this gulp process, which is still running and watching down below by pressing control C and I'm going to run gulp again. And when we do that, notice how it's compiled our variables file and output that to as well as the index one. Now there's nothing inside this variable CSS file because it's just SAS variables and they're not output in the final CSS. But if there was other SAS inside this variables file as well, then it would compile that into CSS and output it into this CSS file. Now in our case, we don't want to have this variables file compiled. It makes no sense to us. All we're doing is using this variables file as a separate file to declare our variables in to keep things tidy and neat and readable. So first let me delete this variables.css file right here. Then I'm going to rename the variables sas file to add an underscore before it. Now when we do this, the sas compiler is going to ignore this file. Any file starting with an underscore, it's not going to compile into a CSS file. This is our way of telling SAS that this file is just a partial which we might use elsewhere but we don't want it compiling. So a lot of the time you're going to see this naming convention for loads of different files where they have an underscore at the start of it. Alright then, so let's try running this again. I'm going to cancel out the process again and I'm going to run gulp again just so we can see it's not now going to compile this variables SAS file. And we can see it doesn't. Awesome. Okay, so now we have the basics of imports and partials down. Next, we're going to create a project structure using different partials for our own CSS library that we're going to make.